All right, everybody, here's another video on my Droid Razor Max. And this is going to be a video on how to install SafeStrap 3.07 on the Droid Razor Max running Jelly Bean. So, first, let's go into System Settings and we're going to go to About Phone. And we are going to make sure that we are on Android version 4.1.2, which is Jelly Bean. And we are on Droid Razor Max or the Droid Razor uh, version XT912. So if you are on those things and you have root access, which I will show you here, right here, you have root, which is super user. Um, we're going to go ahead and go into our files and our SD card. And we're going to look for the super, um, sorry, safe strap file we've downloaded, which is right here is safe strap, like I said, 3.07 APK. And uh, we're going to install that. But to install that, you have to go into settings, and we're going to make sure this is set, and go to security, and make sure right here, unknown sources is checked. It will not install without that being checked. So we're going to go back. Go back to files and we're going to click on safe strap. So down here at the bottom it says install. We're going to click it and it is going to install safe strap. See? App installed right there and it has done or open. We're going to hit done and we're going to back out of our file browser and go back into our app drawer. Scroll over until we see safe strap, which is right there. Safe strap 3. So we're going to click on it, and it's going to ask us for a super user permission. We're going to hit uh, re make sure remember is checked and hit allow. And this is a disclaimer by Hashcode, the developer, basically saying, you know, you're on your own. If this messes your stuff up, it's your problem, not his. So you hit agree, and then right here it says uh, recovery status not installed and um, system safe system not active so we're going to hit install also the system version right down there by my thumb so we hit install it installs here very quickly um shouldn't take too long here and this has been tweaked to run on jelly bean see so safe super user granted and now it says recovery status installed but safe system is not active so we're going to go back and back and we're going to go to power off, power it off, shut down, and now it is going to reboot. And we're going to see a different splash screen when we reboot. So power it back on. Here is your Motorola logo like normal. After this, you're going to see a splash screen, which is going to be green. Or red, I'm sorry, and you're gonna to need to push this button down here, the menu button. So go ahead and push the menu button just like I just did right there. And it is now going to open up Safe Strap, which is uh, version 3.07, which is based on Twerp Recovery. So here is your options in Safe Strap. So first thing we're gonna do is right here on top you can see it says ROM slot stock. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a backup. So we're gonna hit backup. We're gonna set backup name, and we're gonna go ahead and say, let's call this stock, and it's gonna be 4.1.2. All right, and we're gonna hit go. And then we're gonna make sure down here it says use external SD, that's where it's gonna store that backup, which it is checked right there in the bottom. And these things are all checked. And then we're going to swipe. We're going to enable compression. Requires more time, but saves space. So we're going to enable that. Come on now. There we go. Make sure that's checked. And then at the bottom it says swipe to backup. So we're going to swipe it. And we're going to run a backup. So this backup, let me set this thing down here, um, is just in case something goes wrong, now you have a backup of your system. Um, and anytime the phone boots up, it's going to show that splash screen, and you can hit the menu button down the bottom and get into Twerp or Safe Strap Recovery, which is Twerp Recovery, and restore your backup if you need to. It also enables all kinds of awesome ROM slots. 
um, for installing ROMs. I'm not really going to show you guys how to do that in this video so much. Um, I have a couple other videos on it. Uh, they kind of get some more in depth on it, but I just want to show you how to install this new safe strap on here on the Droid Razor Max along with how to do your first backup. Once you have your backup on your ROMs, your stock ROM, you can go ahead and do um, activate other stock uh, other ROM slots and install custom ROMs in those and just protect your stock ROM. Make sure it's safe and not hurt. That way you always have a fallback if you mess something up. Um, so there you go. That is basically how you install uh, Twerp Recovery slash Safe Strap 3 on the Droid Razor Max running Jelly Bean. I uh, hope you guys like this little video. Uh, it's pretty simple, pretty basic. And um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Like I said, I have uh, lots. I'll put links down in the description down below. And I have other Safe Strap videos if you want more information specifically on Safe Strap. Uh, please check those out on other, they're maybe for Bionic or uh, Droid 3, but it really gets into depth on Safe Strap 3 for you. Um, and check those ones out for more information exactly how to use this recovery system. But other than that, uh, that's it. We will catch you guys next time. Thanks. All right, uh, PS here. When your backup is complete, which mine is now, we're going to hit back. And we're going to hit back down here on this little arrow. And then we're going to go to reboot system up here on top. Bunk. And you will reboot the system. Um, you will still see the Motorola logo and you will still see the safe strap splash screen, which I'm going to back up so you guys can kind of see it. Um, be a little blurry, but. <clears throat> You'll see the safe strap splash screen and it's red. You have two options. You can menu and go back into safe strap or you can hit search and it'll bypass it or you can just let it wait 10 seconds and it'll just boot normally. So you're still on stock right now. We haven't activated any ROM slots or anything like that. So you have your standard boot animation and we'll boot up back into Jelly Bean. But you have a system backup made and you are protected so you are good to go. That's it. Thank you. Catch you next time.